Let's talk about linking past tense verbs to consonants. This lesson will focus on linking a D sound and a past tense verb to another word that begins with a consonant. Other lessons will focus on linking a D sound to a vowel or a T sound to a consonant. There are a lot of rules. Let's do it one by one. First of all, when the original verb ends in a T or D, we add an extra syllable when we make that ED. So when we say blurted, we have to have two syllables in blurted. And when you link blurted to another word that starts with a consonant, the D will be held. Blurted the. Now I can make it a held D because it's very obvious that it's the past tense because it has its own separate syllable. So I don't have to be so careful with that D. And we always just go blurted the. We don't say blurted the. No way. Headed north. I just kill it at the end of headed. Headed north. Now when the original verb ends in a vowel, the ED will not create an extra syllable. It'll be part of the same syllable, but we can still make a held D before the consonant in the next word. Glued paper. It's very obvious that I'm not saying glue paper in the present tense. Glued paper. That stop is very audible, easy to understand, so that's why we make it a held D. Glued paper. Towed the truck. Now you can try going back and forth between the present tense and the past tense to make sure that there's an audible difference. Weigh the vegetables, that's present tense, versus weighed the vegetables, that's past tense. Weigh, weighed. Weigh the vegetables, weighed the vegetables. Allowed to go. Let's contrast that from the present tense. Past tense, allowed to go. Present tense, allow to go. Allowed to go, allow to go. Now when the original verb ends in an R or L, we're also going to make a held D when we add the past tense to that and connect it to another word that starts with a consonant. It'll still be very clear when we make the past tense and we'll know it's past tense and not present tense as long as we make that held D where we stop breathing, really cut off the air, settled near. So the past tense is settled, stop the D, and the present tense is settle, oh, the L lasts longer. Settled near versus settle near. Grilled cheese. That's different from present tense, grilled cheese. I want a grilled cheese sandwich, please. Blurred vision. Blurred vision versus Blur vision. Blurred, blur. Blurred, blur. Squeeze those throat muscles to make that held D. To hold a D, touch your tongue tip to the tooth ridge at the top of your mouth. Then squeeze your vocal flaps together to prevent air from going through. In other words, hold your breath. Now, when we don't have any of those situations, we will make a slightly aspirated D. That's a quiet whispering D. Duh, duh, duh. Not a really loud D. So let's look at some examples. Changed clothes. So instead of doing a held D, which would sound like changed clothes, it's a little hard to hear it. It's hard to distinguish between the present tense and the past tense when we have a J sound and then a D and then a consonant. So now we let out a little air on that D. So it's very clear that we mean the past tense. Changed clothes. Let's try past versus present. Changed clothes. Present tense, change clothes. Changed clothes. Change clothes. Changed clothes. Waved quickly. Versus present tense, wave quickly. Waved quickly. Waved. Waved quickly. 
confused people. Present tense, confused people. Confused, confused people. Confused people. Now I could still do any of those with a held D if I wanted to, and I might do that if I'm speaking very fast and it's very clear from the context that it's past tense. There should be no ambiguity at all that I mean the past tense if I'm going to use a held D. Let's try some of them with a held D. Yesterday I changed clothes and then I went to the gym. Changed clothes, I didn't even release the D. Yesterday I changed clothes and I went to the gym. You can barely feel the held D there, but we know from the context because I said yesterday and I was speaking very fast. If I did that slowly, yesterday I changed clothes and went to the gym, that sounds wrong. It sounds terrible. You could very clearly hear that I said change instead of changed. So when you do that held D, it needs to be pretty fast. Yesterday I changed clothes and went to the gym. He waved quickly and walked out the room. Versus he waved quickly with a release D. He waved quickly and walked out the room. After he massaged me, I felt so much better. It's clear from the context that I mean past tense because I used the word after and then I said I felt so much better. After he massaged me, I felt so much better. After he massaged me, I felt so much better. Now after a nasal sound like M, N, or N, G, or before an H or a W, I'm very likely to make my ED a slightly aspirated D for clarity. Leaned forward. If I just say leaned forward, it's really hard to tell that I meant past tense. It's just so similar to the present tense. So Americans are much more likely to let out some air on that D there. I leaned forward and said hello. Now it's possible if the context is right and I'm speaking really quickly to make that a held D. I leaned forward and said hello. I leaned forward and said hello. But I think it's a little more likely that we're going to release a D there. Crammed bus. It's much clearer if I release the D a little bit. Quiet whisper. I sat on a crammed bus, a fanged snake, fanged, d, a fanged snake. I cleaned furniture, cleaned, d, a really quiet, fast D, cleaned furniture, traveled with, I might even go so far as to say dwith, traveled with, a little bit like dwith, but really it's just releasing a little bit of D. Traveled with. Traveled with. Now when your past tense verb ends in a D sound and the next word starts with a Y, you can blend them together to make a J if you want. If you don't want to, you can just make a held D. Let's try it both ways. Enjoyed your company. Enjoyed your. I end up saying jur. If I want to do a held D and not blend, it would be enjoyed your company. I can do either one. Enjoyed your company or enjoyed your company. I personally like to do the blending. I think it helps make the rhythm better. Grabbed you or grabbed you. With the blending, it's grabbed you. Ju. You could also whisper the D since it comes after a B sound. Grabbed you grabbed you. For the full lesson on linking past tense Ds to consonants with more examples, see my Rhythm of English course on Udemy or Skillshare. The links are in the description to this video.